All right, so welcome to 12.1 on sampling, frequency, distributions, and graphs. So what we're going to learn in this section is how to describe the population whose properties are to be analyzed, select an appropriate sampling technique, organize and present data, and then identify deception and visual displays of data. Uh, so numerical information, such as information about the top three TV shows for, of the 20th century, shown down here, which is MASH, Dallas, and Roots Part 8, is called data. Now, the word statistics is often used when referring to data. However, statistics has a second meaning. Statistics is also a method of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data, as well as drawing conclusions based on that data. Now, this methodology divides statistics into two main areas. We have descriptive statistics, which is concerned with collecting, organizing, summarizing, and presenting data, and inferential statistics, which has to do with making generalizations about and drawing conclusions from the data collected. Okay, so we have populations and samples. So consider the set of all American TV households. Such a set is called the population. Now in general, a population is a set containing all the people or objects whose properties are to be described and analyzed by the data collector. Now the population of American TV households is huge at the time of the MASH conclusion, which is what we're talking about here on the number one episode. Uh, there were nearly 94 million such households. Did over 50 million American TV households really watch that final episode of MASH? A friendly phone call to each household. So how are you? What's new? And are you watching? this basically was absurd. So basically, we, they took a sample, which is a subset or a subgroup of the population, and that is needed. So in this case, it would be appropriate to have a sample of a few thousand TV households to draw conclusions about that population of all the TV households. And usually, depending on the, uh, what you're trying to do, a population or a sample of uh, one to three thousand usually is where uh, is is good for a, a good standard size, depending on uh, how much of a good fit you want to have at the end. End. Now, so let's do an example here. So it says a city government wants to conduct a survey among the city's homeless to discover their opinions about required residents and city shelters from midnight till 6 a.m. So what we need to do is describe the population, and then a city commissioner suggests obtaining a sample by surveying all the homeless people at the city's largest shelter on a Sunday night. Now, does this seem like a good idea? Explain your answer. Well, what is the population? Well, the population is going to be a set of all the city's homeless people. So it's the set of all the city's homeless people. Okay, so that's going to be our population. Now, is that a good idea just to survey at the city's largest shelter on a Sunday night? Well, probably not because... You're going to be only looking at the people who are there actually going to the shelter on a Sunday night, and it's also the largest one, so it probably means it's probably the better one maybe, and so then whoever gets there first is going to really like it, and so they're going to skew how how it is. So I would say there's going to be uh, – there will be more in favor of the plan – which is to have this uh, city shelters where you have to be there from midnight to 6 a.m. Uh, so more in favor of the plan than maybe the uh, population as a whole. And a population, again, is all the homeless. So maybe the population of homeless in the city. Okay, so it's one of those things, there's a lot of different ones, but this could be one of the many options why it's not going to be a good idea. Okay, so let's stop there and we'll come back for some more.